Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I am creating a 12 by 12 layout using a cut file um, from the cut shop. This is the school days cut file um, and it is of a backpack and I absolutely love this. So I'm using this to document the first day of school for my boys. Um, now I will say I did struggle with this cut file in the very beginning and it is only because of my user error. I had a brand new super sticky mat and a really old blade that definitely needs change. So I took a lot of time trying to get this off my mat without ripping it, and I was successful at that. So um, the papers and collections that I am using today are the Coco Vanilla um, Storyteller line, um, and I am using the 6x8 paper pad, 12x12 um, 12 12 piece, and lots of ephemera. Um, I do take some time and back this cut file. I was debating on whether I was gonna keep this zipper the same way that it was intended to use or if I was going to flip it around and how I wanted that to play um, in with my photo. Um, so I took a second to pick out a couple of the sheets that I wanted to use to back the file. Um, I used the goldish yellow to do the zippers. Um, and then I will also use the green, some hearts um, and some blues to finish it all off. I totally changed up the patterns on this and I took a chance um, and I absolutely love how this turned out. Um, so I do take some time. Um, I do trace around my pieces and then just hand cut them. And then sometimes I'm a little off. So I will go back in and try to trim them up a bit. Um, you can do this so many different ways. This is just what I prefer to do with my cut files. Um, and I also do like to use the green mono multi glue from Tombow because it stays sticky and tacky after it dries. So just in case I'm a little slow, it, it still will stick to the pieces that I'm cutting. Um, so I am only going to show just these two small things and then I am going to do a super speed up um, and then I will come back in with the whole entire um, book bag cut. Just going to trim a little bit off of this piece and then in the magic of YouTube there's the whole thing done um, I absolutely love the the uh, hearts that I, I chose for the main piece and then this 12 by 12 piece of paper this is the B side I believe the A side is the um, light wood grain um, but I loved these plus signs um, and thought that it was really cool idea to use this for a school page layout so I just went for it um, I do have some of the scrap papers from the six by eight paper pad still sitting on my desk and I'm going to put aside some of the larger pieces. Um, but I am going to keep some of the smaller pieces left that I had left from after doing the cut file. And I'm going to trim my photo down and use these scrap pieces to mat my photo. Um, I kind of hodgepodge all four of them I believe here and and I'll just cut little bits of of each colored um, paper and then just just back certain sections of it I try not to overthink it but y'all I've been overthinking everything lately and the embellishments when it came down to it um, for this kit I really overthought like this whole entire layout like the backing of the cut file probably took me about an hour um, but I did some things in between, so it wasn't like it wasn't an hour straight. Um, but the jumbling around of the, the embellishments when I go to put everything together, I think that it took me like almost an hour, another hour and a half to figure that out because this was my first layout that I'm making with this kit. And I love every piece of everything in this kit so I wanted to use all of the things but then it was it just wasn't working and I just had to stop and just use what I wanted to use um so everything is matted and I found the place that I wanted to put my book bag so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down with my tape runner um and then the zipper I am going to place it um kind of overlapping the picture so that the the gold piece on that zipper pull shows. I really love the zipper pulls in this and I think they're so stinking cute. Um, I am going to take some foam adhesive. This is single sided 
uh, foam adhesive, single-sided foam, single-sided adhesive foam, there it is, <laughs> that I get in a big pack at Walmart. Um, I will put that on the back of my photo to lift it up. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and glue down this zipper in place. Um, and then the little, the zip, it's the zipper pull itself, I'm gonna go ahead and pop up on some foam, a foam dot. Because this is not a mixed media layout, I don't mind using tape. Um, so I have double-sided sticky tape that I'm gonna use to mount my photo on my, on my page. Once I did that, I did find that I wanted a second layer of foam underneath my zipper um, just to give it that boost so that it was up above my photo. Um, and then I did also turn up that middle um, zipper as well, right by the dark green piece. For my title, um, I am going to use the word together from this sticker sheet um, from the kit. And then I pulled out some black alphas from my stash for the word again for my full title of together again. Um, and this is just me documenting a story of my two boys. Um, they have three years difference between them. Um, so my youngest was going into junior high. My oldest is in high school. So this is them uh, meeting back up again and being able to ride the bus again together since they were both on that early run. Um, so for the center rectangle there on the book bag, I wanted to document what school year that it was. Um, but a lot of the alphas that I had in my stash only had two number twos. So I was stuck when it came to doing 22-23. Um, so I flipped through some of the other stickers and found some Ellie Studio blue ones that matched this kit perfectly. Um, they also have, have green ones that uh, matches also, um, but I decided because there was so much green already going on with my son's sweatshirt and the bottom part of this book bag that I would use the blue ones to help uh, pull in that blue, um, the, the blue that I used in the top and the bottom of the book bag. Um, so I do flip through the embellishments, and like I said, I really go through the embellishments on this, um, and I'm going to skip over a lot of my indecisiveness, otherwise this video would probably be a half an hour long, and that is even edited at twice the speed. <laughs> um, so I am going to use a camera down here on the bottom left. I am going to use the yellow one. I think that helps pull the yellow out that's in that heart paper. Um, I will lay around some of the pieces from the floral ephemera pack, a navy blue with a sprig of red berries, and then on the top, um, a red and a very, very pale pastel, like almost a cream pink uh, flower, and then um, another sprig of like a blue floral leaf. Um, the book there on the word, by the word together in my title that has the flowers popping out of it, you'll see that pop in and off of frame because I changed my mind with that probably a half a dozen times. Um, but that does come back and it will stay in the very end. <laughs> um, I really like that book um, with the flowers. I think the book being school related helps tell the story um, that I am going to tell. So as far as the florals go, um, and my camera there, I do pop those up on foam adhesive to add some dimension onto my spread since the book bag itself was glued down flat to the layout. Um, I'm going to use all of my dimension in my embellishments. Um, so I do use some foam adhesive on my flowers. I do glue in the different spring, the red berries and that blue one up there in the top middle. Um, I do actually just glue those down, but I don't glue the entire the entire piece. Um, I actually bend up the edges so that it pops up off the page and adds that another little bit of dimension. Um, going through some of the embellishments, um, I did add another floral piece there behind that navy blue flower and camera. Um, again, I only glue a piece of it down. That way I can bend up the edges of it um, so that it helps get popped off the page. I did find this round, um, it was like a one inch circle. And um, telling our story, I believe is what it says. 
um, and I will use that and treat it as almost like a button flare. Um, I will pop it up on foam adhesive and then add some um, thread behind it for another pop of color. Um, I also had some wood veneers in my stash from Ellie's Studio from um, a release that they had last year that was around this time, and there were some wooden apples and also that little stack of books that's up there in that top floral cluster. Um, I wanted to use those up and make sure that they landed on a page. Um, plus, again, this was the perfect theme to have that um, incorporated. So the book stack is going to go up in that top cluster, um, and then the apple will end up on the left there by the camera and i do end up putting in the third one but it will not stay where it's at it'll actually bump up to the book where the flowers are popping out um to add a little bit of grounding to this i kind of felt that the title was floating i chose to use this little banner piece and i added that right under that word together and into the middle of the book bag i feel like this helps add a floor or a ground so to speak um, and then that just, it makes my brain feel better with that being there. Um, so I do glue that little apple down on top of that book stack. Um, I did break off the, the stem and leaf in the process, but I, the one thing about wood veneers that I love is you can glue those suckers back together and it never will even tell the difference. Um, so I glued that in place. Um, I also added a butterfly there up on the top of my page. And then I started playing around with other little things. I knew at this point that I was really getting close to being almost done, but I felt like that that top cluster was missing a couple things. Um, so I did go through the floral ephemera pack and I pulled out two different um, single leaves and I glued those down underneath that pale flower and bent the ends of those up to give it a little bit of dimension as well. These little uh, wooden buttons, I absolutely love them. I love wooden buttons. I have a very hard time using them. I'm not sure why, but I, I knew that it was working in my brain that it was working. I had other wooden pieces on here, but I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I ended up finding a little one um, that had a butterfly on it, and I used that in that top cluster, and that helped close that whole top cluster up for me, um, and I felt that, that at that point that that was complete. Um, so I am going to add, like I said, that little bit of thread, thread there behind this one in circle. Um, I do use both foam adhesive to pop that up and also liquid glue. Um, the liquid glue will help keep that thread in place. And I do like those little ends there just kind of wandering off where they want to. Um, it makes it look not finished or like very rough. And I think that that adds to the whole dimension that I pull into my clusters. Um, on the bottom of this 6x12 sticker sheet, there are some phrases, and um, I love these little guys, and I'm going to add one there underneath the word again, and then I'm also going to use this banner piece um, that I will add to the bottom of the camera. Um, because the camera was popped up on some foam dots, I am going to stumble <laughs> through because this was sticky to begin with, and I'm going to try my best to pop this up on foam, which I do manage to get it, and it will end up at the bottom of my camera. Kind of the same thing with that banner piece. I feel like this little banner um, grounds that whole embellishment cluster together. Um, so I did find another little word phrase that I really liked, and I'm going to go ahead and add that down below again. Um, and lastly are these little tiny puffy heart stickers. Um, I love these. They are small. They are the perfect size. I could use these stickers in everything in every color. I love them. I'm going to sprinkle those around um, a cluster on the right, the left, and I will add two um, up by the butterfly at the the top and that is going to call this layout done. I absolutely love this layout. I love using cut files. It helps take out a lot of the work when it comes to doing layout, except for in my case where I tend to overthink every embellishment that I put on my page. But I do love this and I love how it turned out and I hope I have inspired you today. Um, I'm going to add my date and then we're going to do some close-ups here at the end. Um, thanks so much for stopping by today. I hope you've been inspired. I will link um, the kit that I used and the cut file down below in the description area. And if you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. Thanks so much, everyone, for stopping by today. Have a wonderful day and a crafty week. Bye.